right, treasure map time. Nav level 20. We're going to test out the teams. We're going to showcase the new map. All that good stuff. Let's dive on in. You guys want to check out the fun over here, um, like these beautiful people in stream. Make sure to head down there. Hit me with a follow on Twitch. At the moment, the topic of conversation is a chicken sandwich a burger? Or is it a sandwich? Is bread a bun and is bun bread? I don't know. You guys let me know over there and let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. While you're down there, bell the like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff for me. It means a ton. And uh, come have some fun like the rest of these jabronis. Because um, bun buns are not bread. That's all I'm saying. Buns are not bread. So we are on nav level 20. We do have the intrusion battle against Kainu. And we do have this little spot here with the three magical spots. Uh, I don't like that you can't land on all of them. I, I think it's ridiculous. However, they've given us an option that no matter which way you go, you're going to have the option to land on this particular spot. Um, I, I still think it's shit. I, honest I honestly think it's bad. Now, for myself and my teams, if you guys saw my prep video, I am aiming for um, Kobe on the map. Plus, as always, I like to farm out materials when it comes to treasure map. I don't stereotypically go for rank. Uh, we are ranking really nicely, but obviously we're not going to be able to hold that. So let's move on to Akainu now. And remember, buns are not bread. Uh, let's take on Akainu. We are basically just using the uh, the full batch team. I have them limit broken now, though. Let's go. I, I got some mats, and, and we managed to limit break out the characters, which is fun. So let's dive in. Let's dive in. Now, for the final stage, if you were, if you look at my buildable teams, um, uh, Big Mom actually doesn't um, rotate the paralysis orb, so I do apologize about that, but we'll touch on that once, once we get there. Um, you do need to be a couple of perfects if you are rocking the full booster team, because you don't get all of the, um, the verse ability cooldown. Nevertheless, though, it's not the end of the world, because if you guys are using a friend, Captain Whitebeard, you are basically going to have to... Um, you are going to have to, like, hit those perfects. Anyway, you will get a Tandem Orb on Stage 2, though. You want to use um, Whitebeard Special here, so if you're using this full booster team or not, ideally, you really want to use Whitebeard to just kill the Pacifists in the back, do the million damage, and then you can move on. Plus, that way, you get the HP cut, and then you don't have to worry about the stun, and you get the three-turn Chain Boundary. On a Kainu stage, you are going to get um, Attack Down for seven turns. There's uh, eight turns of damage reduction, five turns of defense up, block orbs, whole bunch of nasty stuff. With um, the verse ability of Whitebeard, you can remove three turns of uh, defense up. Uh, Joe's is great because he can remove both the damage, uh, sorry, the defense up and threshold, which is good for the final fight. Um, we have the the three Stooges here to remove damage reduction, and then Shanks and Buggy are going to remove the attack down. Uh, there's a bunch of teams floating around. I did put out a bunch of videos for you guys for this particular fight as well, so um, make sure to go check them out if you guys need a hand with this particular fight. But it's one, of, it's one of the more easier intrusions that we've had in a little while. Um, the downside for most players is finding a friend Captain Whitebeard. That's probably going to be... Uh, that's probably going to be the most dangerous thing. Oh my god, we're moving on to a donuts bread now. Like, let me know in the comment section below if you think buns are different to bread. Because it's getting outrageous now. It's getting actually outrageous. And also, head over to uh, Pappy's Twitter and vote on that as well, because that sounds like a pretty fun thing to do. So let's make our way through the rest of the map. We're on 7 million points, you'd love to see that. We're going to make the rest of the way through the map. Like I said, I am going to be going for Kobe, um, however, if it entails me to go through the middle, if I have like just better drops with the chests, I definitely will. Okay, we get stamina, that's fun, that means the stream's going to continue, or oh, 100% as well, you'd love to see that. That means I get to sit here and listen to these guys argue more about chicken sandwiches versus chicken burgers. Crazy. Um, Alright, we'll, we'll go around the outside just because I, I want to showcase the, the Kobe strat for the video. <laughs> Alright, on to Alkaji. Now, Alkaji is probably the most annoying of the mini boss fights. Um, if you guys have... Halloween Ace, you are going to be in for a good time. However, they really want you to use Alba for this particular fight. Halloween Ace just makes it so much faster, so much smoother, and um, you can actually bink through it super fast. Now, we're running a full Int team. Shirohoshi gives us Rainbow Oils. We're going to hold on to those thanks to Caesar and his wave clearing shenanigans. He's one of the fastest wave clearers, but you can also use Ace as, um, uh, as a wave clearer as well. So then later on down the line, you can actually use Caesar as a conditional boost 
as well. So we have the support of Halloween Ace. You can use the support for Color Affinity once this starts to get a little bit harder as well. But you get Special Binded, Special Reverse, and all Colored Orbs are unfavorable, which is a little bit annoying, but Ace pretty much takes care of all that thanks to Shirohoshi as well. And then with Barrier Pen, you can get through the barrier there as well. So super nice and easy. So beautiful. Uh, Halloween Ace, getting it done. Um, save yourself the hassle if you don't have Alba. Or if you, even if you do have Alba, like, just don't use him. Just bring, bring Halloween Ace. He's just so good for this particular fight. Let's move on to the second fight against Kobe now. Now, against Kobe, I did um, put together a Roger team. However, the downside with Roger was I was missing one turn of cooldown. So, if you guys did check out that video, make sure to add Rayleigh Gaban to... <laughs> which Kobe? The, the I think they fixed it, right? Yeah. Um, make sure to add Rayleigh Gaban to the team. So that way you guys can get that extra turn of cooldown. Plus you can activate the super type if you need an extra extra turn. If you don't have your Roger Limit Break expanded. So I'm using Wipeit on the team. But like Wipeit is completely replaceable. Um, I'm just using him as a friend captain because it's, it's free points. Um, but there was a bug actually. If you check over on the right hand side here. To what Pappy's saying. Um, there was a bug. And I took a screenshot. I'll post it on Twitter. That um, showed two Kobe's on the minimap. And it has been rectified. We did get an Apologem, which was kind of nice. But it's so interesting to see that they just absolutely stuff up. Time and time and time again when it comes to Treasure Map. These tiny little bugs. Having two Kobe's on the map. Which were both Kobe fights, by the way. I, I did both of them. They were both Kobe fights. And it, it didn't it didn't matter. So, um, you, you, could just, you could just pick one and you could just, you could just go from there. So, pretty funny stuff. But on the final stage against Kobe, you get five turns of Bind, Despair. All bunch of bad stuff. And you get an attack down if you blow a chain um, of 2.25, I think it is. It's made for the Lim and Adeo character. But as you can see, he has um, less than 1.5 million HP on the map. You can find him every time and just bink him. Uh, it, when he dies, he does 50,000 damage. So just be careful of that. Um, you don't want to be using any HP cutting units. Stuff like Clash Big Mom, all those types of characters. Because you will die. You just, you just straight up will. So, Roger gets the job done there. I do have another team if I can't fight Kobe. Um, but... Just to save yourself a little bit of time and make it a little bit easier, um, I would I would recommend fighting uh, Kobe on the map, especially if you have Roger. Six plus Roger is very very nice. Oh, we won away! That's so annoying. See that this is going to be the death of me. the The magical spot is those three that surround me. So this is why I don't like that it's spread out like this. I, I think it's I think it's trash. I think it's I think it's bad, and I hate it. So, let's move on to the other two mini-boss fights now. We have Garp, and against Garp, we are using Big Mom. Now, most people probably be using Big Mom on their final fight, but like I said, I did come to the realization that the paralysis, um, when you switch with Big Mom, doesn't remove all the paralysis orbs. So, if you guys needed to replace um, her on that team, you can easily bring her over here, and with Wiper, you can easily clear like the first 50 navs, which is super nice, because Big Mom gives... Two times HP, and with the Navy ship, you get a 1.5. And it's, you sit at like 224,000 um, HP, which is really nice. And on this ambush fight, you go up to almost 400,000, which is crazy. Now, you're using Big Mom elsewhere. You can use something like Hody on this particular stage. Um, the Quick Hody, there's also the Rare Recruit Usopp, the jungle one. Um, the, the Fat Usopp, he actually is 2.25 times uh, HP. And then you can just bink the stage with um, Wiper because he cuts your HP. And however much HP you lose is how much damage you actually deal, which is super, super nice. So um, that's the um, fight against Garp. Really, really easy. Um, they want to use Big Mom there, though. Um, you have like an attack down if you're below a chain of 3.25. But if you're above 4.75, something ridiculous like that. Plus, you get 10 turns of paralysis. So super nasty stuff. On to the Kazari fight now. Um, we are using Zoro. He's the recommended character. The Zoro-Hiori combination is so good for this fight. Because not only do you keep a whole bunch of Wano Orbs from the very beginning, but uh, Izukiku can give you a Chain Lock, you get an Attack Boost, and um, you can remove all the Despair thanks to Hiori as well, which is super, super good. Um, on Stage 1, though, I was using Jinbei to Wave Clear here, but I actually found it just faster to just double tap with Zoro. Because um, Izukiku are actually going to give me back those Wano Orbs because I have 5 Slashes on the team. So when I use their special, not only can they wave clear and give us a three-turn chain lock, but they're also going to give us back those one orbs, which is nice. On the final stage against Kazara, we get 12 turns of despair. It goes down to nine after sockets. Um, and then he puts up three turns of defense up. Now, something that was a little bit wrong on the infographic was that it said there was a two one orb barrier for one turn. Well, it's actually a one one barrier. 
for two turns, which is actually a, a heap better. Because that way you don't have to tap with three characters, you only have to tap with two characters. Hell, in the early stages, you really only have to tap with one. So, that's always nice too. So, uh, Zoro gets it done with two specials. Probably the most specials we're using on this particular fight. Um, but, look. It's, um... I was trying to find a way to make Whitebeard work there, but look, most people have Zoro, and I think most people will probably be using Zoro there anyway, so... On to the final fight now against uh, Sengoku. Again, basically we're using the full batch to get around all the shenanigans. Uh, Blackbeard is actually a really, really interesting unit, and a character that's really grown on me, to be honest. He provides so much for his team, that if you have that squad support, you can literally get an attack boost, an orb boost, color affinity, uh, base stats... And a full bottle of orbs with one unit, which is just crazy. On top of that, you get chain chain multiplicative as well. The downside to this particular fight as well, you actually have to hit those perfects that I was talking about earlier. If you get any um, if you get any tandem orbs, you can gobble them up too, and then just put them into his verse ability. It's just annoying that he doesn't just give the full verse ability on this particular fight. But Sengoku is a bit of a brat like that. On stage two, you get there's damage reduction and special blinds, um, so you have to handle that. The rare recruits obviously take care of that, and then you also get block orbs, so you have to sort of get around that as well. So you're just using Blackbeard special here. If you have a friend Captain Blackbeard, I would highly recommend using the friend Captain Blackbeard here because you get three tons of base stats, three tons of orb boost, and then you get the um, the tandem orbs through the block orbs as well. So you can just carry it into the final stage as well, which is super handy. Once um, Sengoku dies, he runs away, and then we can deal with him on the final stage. On death, Sengoku is going to have a ten thousand death damage so make sure you have enough hp to actually tank that or bring someone that can actually tank it you get to spared but blackbeard turns that into a chain multiplier and there's five turns of defense up and threshold um oh sorry eight turns of defense up and five turns of threshold so having that verse ability ready for the final stage is great but there's also an interrupt for color affinity so just utilizing the blackbeard verse ability is just super nice you will need someone that can remove paralysis now um supports do work but they have to basically be on um use of the final stage uh and they have to remove paralysis they don't trigger because you don't get any paralysis so that's a little bit annoying but like mr one support characters like that should be fine uh, but let me know what you guys are using in the comment section below for something like that if you guys aren't using these teams and using more buildable teams but if you enjoyed the video make sure to go down there belt the like button hit the subscribe button do all that good stuff remember in the comment section below let me know are chicken sandwiches burgers or are burgers better than chicken sandwiches you, you guys be the judge. And on top of that, are buns bread? And is bread buns? I think they're completely different. But obviously, these guys over here, um, some of them disagree. And honestly, I don't know how. But thank you all for watching. Most importantly, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.